In this tutorial, I want to show three quite easy situations that can be automated using the Grasshopper plugin. These situations are very basic but I hope you will get an idea of how to use it and upgrade it to your more complex problem. The first situation, count together data with the same name. If I need to count together data from an Excel sheet, my manual approach in the Excel would be First, all data which needs to be counted together are in column A. Then, copy the whole list of data to a new cell F. Then, select all data in the F column and use the function remove duplicates to get unique values. And finally, use the function count if on unique values to get a count of each data. So how can this be done in the Grasshopper? Add block read Excel sheet to the canvas. This block will read an Excel file where is filled just column A with data that is necessary to count. You can use panel block to see what kind of a piece of information is coming out of blocks. As you will see, this block requires a few parameters to work. In this case, we will fill just two of them, so in front of the block add boolean toggle which works like a button with true or false value. You need to switch it to true so it works. Another block which is necessary to add is file path. This block will hold reference to your previously saved Excel file. To add your Excel reference to Grasshopper, click the right mouse button on File Path. And then click Set One File Path. Find your Excel file and you will have referenced your Excel file. You can add a panel block to see what data comes out from your columns. In this case, we have only one column of data so it is quite easy to understand. Add block create set and connect columns output from read Excel sheet. This will create a new list with unique values. Same as remove duplicates in Excel. Next step is to add member index block to the canvas. Connect everything as shown. This block can find all indexes of values you need to find. But in this case, we will use other output count, which counts together values with same indexes. If you need to know result and that's all, then you are finished. You can see same result as we got previously in Excel. But we can give a nice output to Excel. To do that first we need to merge data together so it can be displayed in Excel. Let's add merge block to the canvas, and connect everything as showed. When you have a lot of wires and it's starting look like mess, you can double click wire and move it around, so it is easier to tidy up. Let's add panel, to see what we got. As you can see all data is in one tree. In this case we can right click on set, and add flatten. Now data will be splitted in two trees and we can save info to Excel. The last step is to add the write to Excel block and fill it with four inputs. Add two panels. In first write. Result. In second write. False. Add panels as showed. Add merged data also to block. Last we need boolean toggle block. I am copying from block on canvas. You can see results transferred to Excel file. Now you can save your grasshopper file and if you have another Excel with same structure, just add it in, file path and it will automatically count equal data. Let's upgrade our previous solution with some additional functionality. For example this time we don't care about the name, but we need to count together details who have the same dimensions. So we need to compare it to cells this time. So this time my manual approach in the Excel would be Use function, concatenate with a comma between width and height to get both values in one cell, in this example it's F. Copy data from the column F to column H without formula. You can do it with, pass special values. Remove duplicates from column H. As we did before, use the function count if on unique values to get a count of each data. So how can we do it in Grasshopper? We will upgrade our last example with just few blocks. Double click on Bullen toggle, so it will not generate result each time we change something. My next data is in same Excel but different sheet, so I need to add sheet name to read Excel block. By holding Alt and dragging, you can get more space where you need it. We need to concatenate B and C columns, so from, read Excel, block we will use. Rows. As row A is not necessary we will remove it. Add, call index, block. And add, panel with number 0, in it. Connect as showed. Now you can see, block has data without a column. 
add block, list item, to get B and C columns from Excel. When zooming closer to, list item, you will see a plus sign, click on it to get plus one output. And one more block that is necessary to add is concatenate. Same as in Excel, putting both dimensions in one cell with a comma between them. Zoom in on block and click a plus sign to get additional input. Add panel and input. Space. Comma. Space. Connect everything as showed. In panel we can see result from, concatenate. Now we need to change some connections to block already in canvas. Follow along. Right click on, set and choose graft. This is necessary so data is in right format for output. Change text from, false, to true. Turn on boolean toggle to see result in Excel. You can compare that it is same result as we did in Excel. For third example, let's compare information in two different Excels. In this example, let's look at some not realistic situations but you will get an idea of how Grasshopper could be used in a situation when you have a lot of data. So imagine the situation you have two Excel sheets. One called stock has information about what kind of the details you have in stock. In this case for simplicity, those will be details with unique numbers from 1 to 100. Another Excel called order has information about a new order or list of details. So in this example, we will look if details from the order are available in stock. In Grasshopper, we could do this even without opening an Excel file. Just referencing files and adding some blocks. Let's start with reading and referencing Excel's files as in previous situations with read Excel sheet. Now we have to do that for each Excel, so duplicate everything twice. You can rename blocks, so it is easier to understand what is what. Press boolean toggle to activate Excel files. Add two panels to see what info you get from Excel's. Add member index to find if the order detail is found in stock. Right click on order column and change it to graft. This is done so each order detail is compared to all stock details. Add list length block to canvas. If detail from the order will be found, then the value will be 1, if not 0. Add the larger than block. First value is list length. Add panel with value 0 and input a second value. Block will give back the value true or false. You can already see that the fourth position detail 105 is not in stock, but okay, let's write this information to Excel. Add concatenate block and add column from order list. Zoom in to add one more entry. Create panel with dash in it and add it to concatenate. Add true or false values to concatenate. You can add panel to already see the results. Next just repeat what we did in previous examples with writing to Excel. Add write to Excel block. Add boolean toggle. Add panel with name, result. Add panel with name, true. And connect everything as showed. Press on boolean toggle to activate and see result in Excel sheet. So this is all I wanted to show in these simple examples. All examples are very simplified but you can do a lot with large amounts of data. If you go deep in Grasshopper you can do quite amazing things not just in Excel. Thanks for watching.